Hello friends, welcome to PHP video tutorials series. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss typecasting in PHP. What is typecasting? Converting one type of data value to another type is called as typecasting, where data value can be a literal, variable name or a constant name. Converting one type of data value to another type is called as typecasting. There are two types of typecasting implicit typecasting and explicit typecasting. Implicit typecasting is done by the PHP engine. Explicit typecasting is done by programmers. Implicit typecasting is also called as coercion. Explicit typecasting is also called as conversion. Let's understand implicit typecasting. If required, PHP engine automatically converts one type of data value to another type, which is called as implicit typecasting. If required, PHP engine automatically converts one type of data value to another type guys. Let's see an example, echo 2 plus 4.3. You can see that here we have an integer number plus a double number. What happens here is the 2 is going to be converted to 2.0 behind the scene and they are added to get the result 6.3 in the browser. This is done by the PHP engine for us guys. Let me go to WAMP server www directory. Within that we have created default.php file. I right click on it. Say open with the notepad. You can see that default.php file is open inside the notepad. It has the basic HTML5 document structure code. Title is set to default page. Here in the body section I say less than question mark PHP which indicates the beginning of the PHP code. Question mark greater than which indicates the end of the PHP code. Here I say echo 2 plus 4.3. What happens here guys? 2 is going to be converted to 2.0 plus 4.3 equals to 6.3. We'll get the output 6.3 guys. I say here echo and I use the br tag so that we can push the next content to the next line. File, save, go to browser. Here I say localhost forward slash default dot php. We know that localhost points to WAMP server www directory. Within that we have default.php file. That's the reason I'm saying there localhost forward slash default.php. I hit enter. You can see that we got the output 6.3. Let's see more examples. Here I'm saying echo. In pair of double quotations, I'm saying 22 Manjunath plus 22. What happens in this case guys? Note, while performing any type of numerical calculations, if a string starts with a valid number, then it is extracted out. Otherwise, the string is converted to zero. This note you should remember. While performing any type of numerical calculations, if a string starts with a valid number, then it is extracted out. Otherwise, the string is converted to zero. So here what happens is the 22 is going to be extracted out as a number. 22 plus 22, we get 44 output guys. Let me go to the notepad file. Here I say echo. In double quotations, I say 22 Manjunath, double quotations plus 22 semicolon. What happens here guys? As this string starts with a valid numerical value, it is going to be extracted out plus 22 will get the output 44 displayed. Echo, I use the br tag to push the content to the next line. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You see that we got 44, we didn't got any error. Let's see one more example. Echo, in double quotations, I have Manjunath 22. You can see that this string does not begin with a valid number. It starts with alphabets, right? So definitely it is going to be converted to 0. 0 plus 22 will get 22 displayed there. I say here, echo, double quotations, Manjunath 22, double quotations plus 22, semicolon. What happens here? The string is going to be converted to 0 plus 22 equal to 22 result we'll get. Echo, I use the br tag to push the next content to the next line. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You see that we got 22, not 44. Let's see more examples. Here I'm saying echo 2 multiplied by 4a. Here you can see that the string begins with a valid number 4. So 2 into 4 will get 8 here. Let's see an example for that. Echo 2 multiplied by 4a semicolon. Here 2 multiplied by 4 is equal to 8. We'll get the 8 output guys. Echo. I use the br tag to push the content to the next line. File, save, 
go to browser and refresh, you see that we got 8. Let's see one more example. If I say echo 2 into A2, here this string does not begin with a valid number, so it is going to be converted to 0. Let's see that echo 2 multiplied by A2, double quotation semicolon, will be having 2 multiplied by 0 equal to 0. I'll say here echo will use the br tag to push the next content to the next line. File, save, put browser and refresh. You see that we got 0. We can see more examples. If I say here echo 4 multiplied by 2.5 semicolon. What happens here guys? 4 will be converted to 4.0 multiplied by 2.5 which is equal to 10.0. 0 is not going to be displayed in the browser by the PHP engine. Remember that. Here I say echo and I use the br tag to push the next content to the next line. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You see that we got 10 display. So remember that if required PHP engine automatically converts one type of data value to another type which is known as implicit typecasting. I think for this video tutorial this much is enough friends. In the next video tutorial we are going to discuss explicit typecasting. For more benefits and be up to date, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.